All right, for the Raiders, two years ago, Rich Bisaccia was the interim coach. They almost beat the Bengals in the playoffs. He gets blown out. Mike Mayock, the GM, gets blown out. They start over. They try the Patriot way. It doesn't work. And now Antonio Pierce. I, I believe he's done enough that you need to work out some sort of a reasonable contract where he has an opportunity. You don't have to do a five-year deal. Do a three-year deal. Give him a chance to be the head coach. Give him a chance to go start to finish. We said the same thing about Bisaccia, and it was just like it wasn't even regarded as a possibility. Yeah. It's like something Mark Davis never took seriously. How can you not take it seriously now? 63 points scored against the Chargers at the time when they'd come off of scoring zero four days earlier, and then they get a little extra rest, and they go into Kansas City, and they beat a Chiefs team that's playing for everything. How does that not tell you? that Antonio Pierce has something that needs to be fully explored. What's his ceiling as a coach? What does he do when he has a full offseason to get ready? When you couple the belief and the passion and the intangibles that are causing them to win these games now, and you put together a great plan, and coaches on both sides of the ball that get you into the X's and O's you need to be in, how do you not do it? How do you not do it if you're Mark Davis? Yeah, I, I, I mean, you got to be seriously considering it, right? I mean, the team, the organization, the players on the field, they've responded to Antonio Pierce. I don't think there's any question about that. I mean, we, like, like you said, there's been better quality football. They've been fighting, you know, regardless of the situation, certainly. And even with, like, things looking dire and bleak, they continued to do – you know, continued to kind of fight this out. And they certainly could have gave up with going, oh, McDaniels is gone. We're starting Aiden O'Connell. Like, this ain't going to work. Josh Jacobs isn't playing today. There's They, they got to seriously consider Antonio Pierce. You know, one, you could see he's got great leadership skills. He's a very good motivator. You know, on the sidelines, he's got a great way about him and a presence that I feel like keeps the team in a positive, motivated frame of mind. And then, yeah, how could you not with this go, well, what would it look like if you truly let him have his full imprint on an offseason, let him hire an offensive coordinator, or get some more people in there on the staff that he believes in, right? Hopefully he would keep a guy like Patrick Graham, the defensive coordinator, as we see that defense is – it's damn good in in, in, uh, in Las Vegas. So uh, I, I kind of tend to, to lean where you are, Mike, on this one. It seems like he's done enough. It feels like he fits the Raider way. He's got a little Raider attitude towards him. Uh, it, it seems like it, it will work out, and, and hopefully he gets that chance. And if you're Mark Davis, do you really want to be the guy who twice had an interim coach who was doing well enough to get the job, and you say no, and you bring in somebody else who gets fired less than two years later? I, I just think that if you're going to learn from your mistakes, you need to learn that, Basaccia should have gotten a chance, and that's all the more reason to give Antonio Pierce a chance. This one's so obvious. I feel like it's so obvious Mark Davis is going to screw it up. It's too obvious. It's too, it's too easy. This one's too easy. Give Pierce a chance to be the guy and see what he can do. Put his staff together and go zero and zero and see where he can take the raid. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.